Oui, bah, LOP 71, LOP 72, OB 73, 70. Yeah. If you know you are a Labour Party supporter, come close, come close, you understand? Because Kenneth Okonkwa has already reviewed how 2027 election is going to be. And guess who is, is actually going, is actually said he's going to win the 2027 election? LOP. LOP 72. OB 73. Okay. okay, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are watching my video for the very first time, I want to encourage you to get that smile that subscribe button. And also do me a favor to turn on the screen bell icon. So whenever I put out a new video on this channel, you'll be the first to get me. So we all know the Nollywood actor and um, lawmaker, um, Kenneth Okonkwo, you understand? So it's actually said that 2027 election is for Peter Obi, not even Labour Party. You can hear what he says. He says it's for Peter Obi, not even Labour Party. He didn't even... He didn't even call Labour Party in at large. He called Peter Obi only. So he tried to tell us that the 2027 presidential election now Peter Obi go win now. Hmm. LOP 71. LOP 72. Obi. I know most of you now will be looking at me and say what is happening. Well, I know we are still going to vote again for um. Um, Tinubu is still going to contest. I know it's obvious Peter Obi will contest, but Kenneth Okonkwo is assuring Nigerians that if they should bring um this thing Peter Obi up to that seat, that that's when we are going to see a new Nigeria. That's when we are, we are, we are going to bring a new Nigeria in. You understand? Because the man is strong. He, in a video, in an interview he did, it was like when they asked him Peter Obi or Tinubu, it was like, why will you be comparing gold and carrots? Imagine calling Tinubu carrots and calling Pito B good because if you even take a look at what Pito B has been doing recently, it shows that if he becomes the president of Nigeria, there won't be any tribe issue, there won't be religion issue, everything will be going smooth because you understand Pito B is seen breaking fast with Muslims, something that I've never even seen a president, a, a, a politician do. Pito B is doing it, trying to show us that he is not restricted to any. You know, people have been saying. Uh, Peter B cannot go to the north north state. Peter B cannot go to northern state. He cannot go to northern state because they will know we're coming. Peter B now proved to them. He went to the northern states, create borehole for them, eat with them, break their uh, their Ramadan fasting with them. They are now chanting Obi 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 when they were recording themselves. Yes, they they were chanting Obi. Peter B is a man of intelligence. When when, when 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 people when people when people come out to say Peter is a man of intelligence, I don't need to argue with them because you see the way he do things, he do things based on what he see. He don't he just sit down and order people to go. And that's why many presidents and many governors have, have, always call him stingy man. They always like calling him stingy man because he's a kind of person that whenever I want to carry out a project, that when he's in Anambra State, he can he, he mostly move there and see it for himself. So there is no. There's no way for them to extort all these their small small change. That's why they are not calling him a stingy man. You know, as Bala Metinubu is now, it's not in terms of age, he's already a bit older, old, and he's not that strong, physically strong. You understand? So he needs supporter. And when in Nigeria, when you have people who you send to go and do something, they try to get gain from that. That's why you see most of the things they do aren't original again. LOP again. Understand? Keep giving us back to back, okay? Keep giving us back to back. Give us the hope because one day I believe Peter B is gonna be on that seat, and I have a strong feeling that when he gets to that seat, many things is going to change. Understand? So people saying um there's few news news um there's a news um that I was going on yesterday that I post on this video that they're saying um Tinubu is the best president. Some even said. Um, when Tinubu, only of this particular state, let me not mention his name now. In my next video, I'm going to create a video for that. He said food is, um, is now cheap under Tinubu's um, tenor. Imagine, I want to ask you, and is there any food you have been buying before that the price reduced when Tinubu enter? I can I can bet anything that it's a no. It's a no for me, and it's also a no for you too. So most of the thing um Kenneth Okonkwo is saying is actually right. He, he also said that he thought um Tinubu 
um, um, Buhari Steno was the worst, but just in nine months, Tinubu will become the president of Nigeria. Tinubu has surpassed everything. And I agree with that because even in Buhari time, petrol did not even reach up to 700. But Tinubu, when it climbed up to 700, currently, I think it is, it, it is um, like 640, 630 now. So, let me hear from you guys in the comment section. Let me not make the video too long. I, in this channel, I always go straight to the point. That's why my videos are not too long. Um, I want to hear from you in the comment section. What do you think? Do you think Kenneth Okonkwo is actually right up? President, um, this thing, our upcoming president, Peter Obi, is going to be the president of Nigeria in the 2027 election. Let me hear from you in the comment section. See you in my next video. And if you have actually watched this video to this particular point, drop your phone number in the comment section. I'll be gifting you a time for Easter celebration. So see you in my next video. Have a nice day ahead. Bye. I love you all.